Hello everyone and welcome to Joy Homestead. My name is Jamie and I'm located in Virginia Zone 6B7A. It's the end of July. The garden is looking pretty rough. So we had about two months of no rain and then we got hit with temperatures that were 100 degrees or higher and it basically fried the garden. So what you see inside is pretty brown and crispy at this point. Um, I was able to plant a second succession of some different plants, but as far as tomatoes and peppers, what's in there that's it they have stopped producing new fruit for the most part so i'm just going to go through and harvest what's in there and go ahead and preserve it and then focus my attention on the second succession crops and then eventually some fall planting here in the next couple weeks so come with me and let me show you what's going on in the garden now even though we did not have rain for a couple months we've had a pretty consistent rain for the last couple weeks so that has allowed the weeds to kind of take over and I'm just letting them do their thing. So coming up here on this far fence, these are all of the Roma plants and you'll see some of them have started to fall off. So I'm going to go through today and just pick anything that is red or blushing and go ahead and get those inside. Um, you'll see the plants are looking really bad. Um, so just kind of get this fruit before anything bad happens to it. So here we have all of the Romas on this outside fence. As we come around the back, have some cucumber plants here. They were producing really well at the beginning and then kind of slowed down with the heat, but now they're starting to produce again. This is a new variety. It's called lemon. It's a lemon cucumber. Now look, look at the brown and crispy. This is pineapple tomatoes and these plants, they're just done. Coming back to this back corner, here's some celery. I am more than likely going to harvest this celery today. It's not as thick as I would like it to be, but I'm just really worried about different diseases that might pop up in the garden. Now this back row here against the garage, these, um, this is the second planting of green beans. I was able to get a very large harvest of green beans uh, for the first planting. So this is the second planting. This row here, in the very back these are all hot peppers so we have some anaheim pretty much done there's still a few there coming over to poblanos i think i've gotten all of the poblanos there just a few little ones cayenne has done very well this year it has enjoyed the heat and the drought a little bit so need to come through and get those last cayenne peppers this is a jalapeno plant didn't get too many off of it this year. As we come around to this next row, more brown and crispy uh, tomato plants. Yeah, I think, I don't know if it's blight, I don't know what's going on, but these plants are just done. So this row here is all Cherokee purple. Across from the Cherokee purples, I have all sweet peppers and bell peppers. And I want to show you some beauties down here. These are orange kings. I'm waiting for those to turn a pretty orange color before I harvest them. There's another one down there on the end that hasn't turned colors yet. This row here, Amish paste. Once again, rough looking tomato plants. I might just come through and rip them all out. That way the soil doesn't get any blight in it. But I'm going to come through and harvest what's there. And across from these Amish paste, hidden among the weeds, basil. So I was able to harvest a good bit of basil at the beginning of the season and turn it into pesto. But now I'm going to have to dig through those weeds and find some, some good basil plants among that, that mess. I'm showing you the good, the bad, and the ugly here. This is the truth of gardening in late July. Another row of Amish paste just completely, completely gone. Just gonna harvest what's there and then move on. Now, originally I had carrots planted here. After they were harvested, I came through and planted black beans. So this row is all black beans. This tomato variety is called La Roma 3. It did not do well at all. You can see how small they are compared to the plants behind them. 
so I don't think I'm going to plant these again. And now just weeds. As soon as we started getting rain, oh my gosh, the weeds took over. This row here was originally carrots. This is now red kidney beans. I did a mix of light red and dark red kidney beans. But we have some beautiful Mexican sunflowers. Aren't they gorgeous? They like heat. So they've done very well in this hot drought weather. And then this row here, these are big boy slicers. Pretty much this is it. So I have not seen any new blossoms for a while. There are some little baby fruits, but they're not growing. So I think time is up for these larger tomato plants. But the cherry tomatoes over here, they're still going. They look rough, but they are still putting on so much fruit. So I'm gonna go through and harvest what I can. A lot of these cherries ended up splitting when we got the rain. So I've been feeding those to the chickens, but for the most part, these cherry tomato plants just keep on keeping on. Outside of the main garden here, originally this was the onion bed. I went through and planted some sunflowers here. So I think it's about 10 or 12 different varieties of sunflowers. So hopefully that'll be a nice fall bloom or end of summer bloom. Originally, this was the garlic bed. I planted some navy beans and they are getting ready to, oh, they are flowering. So it won't be too much longer until these bean pods uh, grow and then I will let them dry out and use them as dry beans. Here's the bee balm. <laughs> if you saw the earlier garden videos, this was just beautiful and purple and pink and lush and now that's what it looks like. So the flowers have died out. Um, down here, I've got some more stuff growing underneath there, but I'm gonna go through and clean this up and trim it out before fall. Um, and then this bee balm, there's actually only two plants there. They will completely take over. It's kind of like mint. Over here, originally, this was the potato bed. Um, but this is now where I have planted some more squash and zucchini because you'll see here in a moment that where I originally planted squash and zucchini, it got completely destroyed by vine borers. So I have some butternut squash here, then zucchini in the middle, and then yellow squash down on the end. So hopefully I can still get a squash harvest this year. Here is the original squash, zucchini, winter squash, and pumpkin bed. For the most part, the plants are gone. You'll see at the very top of the hill, those were all pumpkins. Vine borers just decimated this area. I still have a few plants that kind of took a break and now they're starting to come back. Don't know if I'll be able to get any harvest from them. But the marigolds look great. They've done really well in all of this heat, but not so great with the pests and the squashes and winter squashes. And here we have some new additions to the homestead. So these are our four chicks. Um, two of them were born June 18th, the other two uh, June 19th and June 20th. So this is their uh, stationary static run coop. And I'm just loving having these chickens here right next to the garden. So there is today's harvest. I think I'm going to wait to get that celery just maybe a few more days. We do have some more rain coming in. Maybe that'll help get, get them a little bit bigger. But um, yeah, so this far basket is mostly Roma tomatoes and then some peppers and cucumbers. And then this is all the bigger tomatoes and cherry tomatoes. So not too bad for the end of July. Thanks for coming along with me on today's garden tour. This is probably going to be the last summer garden tour I do this year because as you can tell, it's pretty much done. I still have a lot to do in the kitchen with preservation and making sure that the harvest is not wasted. Um, lots of canning going on, freezing, you name it, dehydrating. We're getting this stuff preserved to last us until next growing season. Once again, thanks a lot for coming along with me today. I hope you uh, enjoyed the video. And if you did, hit that like button. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'm not an expert by any means, but I will answer to the best of my ability. Thanks for joining me. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you soon.